We're here at the Circuit of Americas in Austin, Texas, and it's MotoGP. Let's go. So we're here with Jicate and the very famous Jicate Island where we can see all the range of the bikes. We've got a great vantage point. Some excellent coffee and better than that, some MotoGP riders to go and talk to. So let's get to it. So here we have the AMA Superbike that Loris Baz rode last year. But this year, they've signed up Danilo Petrucci, the ex-MotoGP rider. Awesome dude, and he's in the paddock. So let's go and check out the team and get closer to the action. Speaking with Danilo, he would tell me that he was very happy to be back racing on a Ducati, and he's very much looking forward to racing in the States as he competes this year in the AMA Superbike class. While his teammate Josh Herring is gunning for Supersport glory aboard the new Ducati V2. As part of the Ducati Island experience, you also get a chance to get close to both the MotoGP and AMA riders, as they sign caps and memorabilia and send the fans home with something special. During the lunch break, the pit lane gets open for the fans to see both teams and riders. While Aaron Colton burns rubber on the pit straight with his two-wheeled and one-wheeled antics. While back on Ducati Island, a delicious Italian-style lunch is served. The very best of dried meats, tomatoes and delicious cheese. Race action got underway with the AMA Superbike class and where Danilo Petrucci would debut in the championship and do it with a double Superbike victory aboard the V4R. Base day is the electrifying as the crowd cheered on home heroes Cameron Bobier and Joe Roberts in the Moto2 class. And the hype for the main event just grew and grew. MotoGP is a jaw-dropping experience as basically it's the best prototype motorcycles in the world ridden by the best riders in the world. It was an action-packed race as Cota expert Mark Marquez blew the start and a close fight at the front saw many changes for position throughout the 20 lap race. And in the end, it was Ducati rookie sensation Enea Bastianini who took the spoils. From Alex Rins on the Suzuki and Jack Miller on his factory Ducati in third. A fantastic double podium result for the Bologna factory. So that's all of the track stuff, but it's time for us to get on track ourselves. So I'm going to get on a Ducati Monster, hook up with Tyson Beckford and get on track to do a demo lap. Let's go. And part of the Ducati Island experience is that if you ride your Ducati to the racetrack, you also get to spin a lap on the MotoGP track at the end of the day. And it's a special feeling riding on track after such legends. And it was also great to see so many different Ducatis at Kota.
Austin, Texas, MotoGP, and Chica is number one. After the awesome Jakati Island experience, I stayed on the Monster and then headed into Austin city centre to get some barbecue and meet up with an old racing friend. And deep in the city, surrounded by high-rise buildings and concrete creations, is an old tin shed that's more than seen its test of time. Once an ironworks that used to melt metal to make railings and castings, these days cooks delicious barbecue that just melts in your mouth. And it would be here I'd meet up with Carlos Checker and take him for some seriously good ribs and chat about motorcycles. and it was great to learn that he still loves riding, and also Carlos is interested in joining me on an adventure. Now, who would like to see that? Carlos Checker sleeping in a tent? Hell yeah, I'd watch that. After dinner, we crossed the river, and then headed to the hand-built motorcycle show and to see all those custom creations. a diverse mix of motorcycle styles that definitely stand out from the crowd. It has been a great weekend in Austin once again. Adrenaline packed MotoGP race in action at the track thanks to Ducati Island. And a great mix of friends, food and bikes in the city. Good times for sure. Hope to see you there next year. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and all that good stuff. Good to see you, baby.